Okay, this is the last piece, uh, last little bit of Chuck Schumer's response. The symbol of America should be the Statue of Liberty, not a 30-foot wall. All right, so this is, in my opinion, the best takeaway line from the entire night, because here's the thing. It's like Chuck Schumer... Well, actually, I know that that's what he's doing. He is relying on the ignorance of the masses. He's saying that the Statue of Liberty, this big welcoming symbol, that ought to be the symbol of America. Again, there is a huge difference in legal immigration and illegal immigration. That's what the whole debate is about. Got no problem with legal immigrants. Got a real problem with illegal immigrants. And if what Chuck Schumer is saying is that that should be the symbol and that should be the beacon to illegal immigrants, then I have a real problem because he's basically saying, come all ye illegals, come on in and we'll take care of you. No, 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 no. That's the problem is that he's being exposed as the open borders radical that he really is, which is a really stark contrast from him voting for more fencing, 700 miles worth of it in 2006. And what's hilarious about this is he's trying to bring about this image of the Statue of Liberty as this big welcoming beacon. Yeah, where's the Statue of Liberty? In New York City, in the harbor, atop a massive natural barrier on a border, the ocean. The reason that we don't have border walls on our oceans is because you don't need them. It's a giant natural barrier. And so what's hilarious about this is he's saying that the wall shouldn't be the symbol of America. The freaking Statue of Liberty sits on top of a border security measure. <laughs> we didn't put it there. It's the ocean. It occurred naturally. But the point is, it is a giant natural barrier that prevents people from getting into our the, the borders of our country. And so it's so hilarious that he makes that case, even though the Statue of Liberty clearly is sort of symbolic of, of people coming into the country legally and sits across a natural border that keeps the people out that are not supposed to be here illegally, at least ideally. And it also sits next to a giant legal point of entry, Ellis Island. And so that symbolism of the Statue of Liberty is a symbol of legal immigration, not illegal immigration. And if you want further proof of this, let's keep in mind that the tablet in the hand of Lady Liberty is supposed to be a tablet that represents the laws of Moses. It's not the law of Moses, but it's supposed to be symbolic of that. So the rule of law is supposed to be adhered to according to the symbolism in the Statue of Liberty. And what is inscribed on that tablet? A couple of different lines from a poem. We'll read a couple of these. Here at our sea-washed sunset gates shall stand, and then I lift my lamp behind the golden door. So... Sunset gates, golden door. In other words, because you can't have a door just standing out in the middle of nowhere, it doesn't mean anything. The Statue of Liberty stands for a wall, an exclusory area that is separated by a barrier, a border, and a door. In other words, if you want to come in, you got to come in through the door. You got to come in through the gate. You come through legally. And this is the thing that Democrats seem to have a real problem with is that they're trying to get open borders. They want more illegals to come over. They want this sort of open border because they're breeding voters and, and being able to turn different states, at least purple, if not blue, with the changing demographics. And yet they're trying to present it as well, the, the Republicans are just against legal immigration. We should be for the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, if you're for the Statue of Liberty, then you're for legal immigration and keeping everybody that is illegal out because that's fair to the citizen and it's also fair to the legal immigrant that actually went through and did it the right way. So Democrats have been conflating these two for years. But if you're looking at it honestly and looking at it through the correct lens, you're for legal immigration, or you're for legal immigration, you're just against the people that are trying to jump over the border, jump over the gate, go around that golden door that Lady Liberty is talking about. That's the people that we're having a problem with, and that's the ones that you guys don't seem to be on board with trying to keep out of the country and doing everything we can to make sure they don't come through through an illegal process. <laughs> This is normally the part of the video where I tell you to go ahead and like and subscribe, but the truth is, I really don't care whether you do or not. 
I mean, it's not like you really need all the latest news and commentary from me. It's not like there's a lot of really important stuff going on in the world and in the state of Alabama right now that you should probably be aware of. So, you know what? Like and subscribe. Or don't. I don't really care. Reverse psychology. Boom.